if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel okay we're back for another race and this time i'm driving the bmw m4 competition rear-wheel drive <laughs> side we have the crazy Shelby Mustang GT500 <laughs> it's crazy comparison right are you thinking what they're technically almost the same money well not when you go to the dealership of course now you're paying 200 grand for the gt500 and god knows how much the bmw too from what i've seen online but nonetheless we want to find out how these two compare almost save money right should be a good one this is going to be really interesting i'm driving the m4 because i do not know how to launch that gt500 as you can hear it and I'm just being honest, like I really have a hard time because it's not a prepped area, so it's a bit finicky. So I'm letting the owner who has done multiple drag races with me and he owned a GT Roush before. So he's gonna do the launch of that. I'm feel more comfortable with the M4. I feel like this could do a better job. I could do a better job with this. It's an easy one. Uh, it has a great traction control, hence why I'm saying that. But today we're gonna find out how these two compare. So let's talk about these specs. The GT500, of course, uses the V8 supercharged engine and making 760 brake horsepower and 625 brake pound feet of torque. It's pretty powerful. It uses a seven speed dual clutch transmission and it's pretty quick. Result says 0 to 63.4. This M4 is 3.8, so we're gonna find out. Now, when it comes to the curb weight well this thing gets a bit heavy 4171 pounds so let's talk about the bmw on this side well we have a three liter twin turbocharged inline six they're making 503 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque they use an eight-speed automatic transmission it's a rear-wheel drive they're both rear-wheel drive but beautiful thing is that the M4 Comp weighs only 3,880 pounds, which is lighter in comparison, almost 400, close to 400 pounds lighter than the Mustang. So power to weight ratio, a little bit closer, but nonetheless, we're gonna find out how these two compare in a quarter mile. And of course, we're gonna do one from a roll in automatic mode. So let's roll.
God bless you, man. Thank you so much for bringing again one of your cars. Like, it's just amazing. That GT500 is worth every penny you spend, bro. Thanks again for joining us. This was awesome. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you for inviting me, and uh, I enjoy. I always enjoy coming here, no matter if uh, if I drive from Montreal. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. That was it, guys. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, this thing is quick, but that GT500 dual clutch just goes and goes and goes. It's just, it's insane. It's just insane how that thing drives. Uh, the M4 is just as insane. This is very good with traction. This is one thing I love about uh, BMW cars, and this one specifically, is the traction does not feel like a rear-wheel drive. Special thanks goes to my friend Roth as well for letting me drive this. He was present, he did the dig because he was able to do a better launch on that. Um, I just know my limit, so I tend to make it fair whenever I can. Uh, the problem is that when you're not in a prepped area, you tend to have a bit of an issue with traction. But nonetheless, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel.